Hi, uh, this is uh, Shane, aka French Pig, uh, from the AUS Blue Seals clan. Um, today I'll be going through um, the use of hotkeys. Um, I'll cut off the transition between age 1 and 2, just so, so this uh, can fit on YouTube. Um, basically, part 1 was just going through uh, the different hotkeys I use and how you change them. Uh, I'm just outlining those, but I'm just going to demonstrate quickly in a game. This is just with another clan member um, on the hotkeys I use. Look, the, the ability to use hotkeys um, can make, especially for example, building a barracks, uh, houses, etc., can make it just that little bit quicker. Um, you, you'll be able to um, build your barracks quicker, you'll be able to build units more efficiently. Um, so all in all, uh, the the faster you can do things, the more likely you are of winning. Um, I I generally play more one on one games. Um, so this is just an example against another French player who's also in the clan. And he's actually he's the uh, clan leader at the moment. So uh, just playing against him. I'm just going to start out with musks. You can see there that I started with. Uh, the wood to um, build a market. So what I'm actually going to do is upgrade the market straight away. I'm going to be 50 wood short, so uh, I'm actually going to chop the wood, which I'm doing now, so I can um, get that house up as well. So my first priority, especially if you're French, get that get that market up if you can. Even if I start with 100 wood on many occasions, I will still. Uh, still chop the wood and build the market. Unfortunately there was a little bit of lag in this game so I wouldn't say that um, it was the best of games. It's not really showcasing any um, OP micro at all. Um, so yeah, just notice there I built the market with uh, R so when I had the villagers selected um, my hotkey to build a market is R. Also once that market is built if I press R at any time it'll actually revert back to the market which is quite handy. See there, I'm just popping a vill through the town centre um, and then popping it out the other side so I can go to those hunts. Um, to do that, you just have to put the vill in the town centre, press T, and then in this case, uh, I, my hotkey to eject the villager is E. So obviously E is very close. So the buttons you want to be using throughout the game are the hotkeys. Q, definitely. Um, I use W to build a house. So you notice there, if I build a house really quickly, I'm not actually clicking on house. Um, I'm pressing W. Um, to, to refer to my explorer, I'm using the F uh, hotkey. So every time I press F, it's going to go straight to the explorer, which is quite handy. Um, and in this case, whenever I have a, a scout, I actually create a group for them. So there's no hotkey for the scout that I know of. So uh, I just create a group. And um, so in this case, group one is for scout. So, it, just going to skip through the whole um, aging transition, and now we're in age two. First card's going to be 700 wood. Uh, what I'm going to do is be doing a double barracks and attacking pretty quick. Uh, just start out with musks and see how we go from there. Um, notice that I haven't um, gone over overboard on gold. Um, what I what a, a handy tip that I got from my friend Eclipse is. Um, to get a lot of food during the age up and then if you need more gold um, it's actually safer to, to get gold from a gold mine close to your town centre uh, than it is to um, well it's obviously a lot quicker to get it from uh, y your gold mine than it is uh, the hunts because a lot of time the hunts are quite far out so queuing a couple of villages 700 woods come in so I'm just collecting those now notice there that I pressed A from each villager to build a barracks and uh, there we go there's one done and there you go W for a house okay now what I'm doing is I clicked uh, just to start the musk uh, production but what I will be soon be doing is creating the barracks and this is the probably the most important part of this video as uh, they've just done it there as control 5 so what I can do is press 5 for barracks uh, and then Q musks and the important thing about that uh, the difference between that and actually reverting to your barracks is I don't do not do not have to look at my barracks to build musketeers I can simply just press 5 for barracks it'll go to those uh, the double racks and then I can just queue musks okay so my second cards for vills um, 
if I wanted to be really, really um, offensive, I could have used uh, eight crossbow. Probably would have helped me in this game in res retrospect because the uh, combination of Minutemen and a crossbow card um, probably overwhelmed me at the start. Notice there as well that if I have an idle villager, the reason why I can get to them so fast is not by clicking on the uh, uh, the r resources down the bottom where it would have the, the idle villager section. Um, I actually just press Z to, to find my idle villagers and that seems to work well for me. Notice there, Minutemen come out. Um, I wouldn't suggest you, you sit there and fight Minutemen. Um, you Minutemen can potentially change the outcome of a game. If you have, say, 15 musks, potentially with whatever units they have plus Minutemen, uh, more, more or less you could lose your entire army, which um, in most cases means that uh, the advantage is to the other side. Um, obviously, if you have ridiculous amounts of uh, units, then perhaps you wouldn't have to worry about Minutemen so much, but in this case I do. Okay, so notice there for, T, uh, for Town Centre, I'm going to Town Centre and building a ville. In this case, I use Spacebar, which obviously is um, completely up to you. Notice there, though, when I'm building musks, I'm pressing 5 and then M for musketeer. Um, obviously, if you use a particular sieve more, let's just say you use Brits here, you probably build musketeers. If you're building longbowmen, you could press L for longbowmen. But I do not have to... I can look at my fight, you know, I can still queue... Um, I can still queue units then. So, lost a few units. Notice there that I've got some musk sitting there doing nothing. That's what you really should be doing is, um, let's just say if you've got any muskets in group one, you really need to um, add those muskets uh, to your group. So by doing that, you select the new units that come out, hold shift one, and that way you're not going to have uh, units just sitting there doing nothing, which I had in that case. Um, as far as uh, micro here, uh, takes seven musks to kill another musk, so be aware of that. You don't really want to have overkill. Um, I know that some players will use attack move, um, which is sort of a cheating way of, of doing micro. In the end, it's not as effective as um, clicking and dragging as I'm doing. You'll find later that um, when I'm um, the next fight I enter, once I my eight crossbowmen come in, um, I, I'm constantly clicking and dragging as best I can. Um, so I'm not getting an overkill. Uh, basically, if you select all units and and then click on one of their units and right click on one of their units to attack, <coughs> uh, you'll notice that it'll just you'll, every single one of your units will attack them. If you use attack move, which in this case is Q, um, they'll obviously attack the units closest to them. So it's probably a little bit uh, better to use attack move. But when you can. Um, select th select your units in small groups. So, for example, ideally, um, you, if you select seven musks at a time to kill a musk, well, they're going to one-shot that musk. So here we go. We've we've almost uh, finished now. So you'll see now that um, yep, I've got one as my musks, two as my crossbowmen, and I'm selecting small groups and then just shift-clicking different units. And as you can see, there's quite a few plus tens coming up. So. Um, I think I've overwhelmed him a little bit here. This, to be honest, um, my mate doesn't play French a great deal. So, there's not really much to brag about. But, you can see there though, um, constantly queuing musks um, by using hotkeys. Okay? Uh, don't have to ever refer back to that barracks. Alright, so we're almost finished now. Game's almost over. There you go. Good game. So the important thing about uh, that uh, VOD is, first of all, you've got W for house. Uh, very important if you're a Brit player especially. A for barracks, to build a barracks. S to build a stable, although in this case I didn't need to. R to build a market. Uh, what else? Z for idle villagers is very important. Um, F for your explorer. Q for attack move. In this case, I use spacebar to build bills. And of course, if you want to eject bills from the town centre, you can press E. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, message me on ELO. Uh, French Pig is my name. Uh, good luck and uh, good gaming.